So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the P0335 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Nissan P0335 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position sensor circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the crankshaft position sensor to know the location of the crankshaft as it spins. And it's seen an error with this, so I have to be troubleshooting to know why. And some of the possible causes, well, it could be a faulty crankshaft position sensor. It could be the wiring could be open or short and possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code code is to locate the crankshaft position sensor and this can be located differently depending on the Nissan so it's always a good idea to get a wiring diagram and schematics for your particular year and engine type of Nissan but quite commonly they're located up around the transmission towards the rear of the vehicle like around the transmission bell housing most cars will have the crankshaft position sensor up towards the front but Nissan commonly put them towards the rear around the transmission area and so the best thing to do is to find a wiring diagram or a schematic like on Google images or something like that so that you can locate where that crankshaft position sensor is but quite commonly they're located like underneath the engine at the rear around the bell housing or this right here this is a 2003 nissan frontier it's located up towards the top of the transmission bell housing but like i said it could vary but first thing to do is to locate where that crankshaft position sensor is on your particular year of nissan and engine type and so once you locate it the next thing to do is to examine the wiring harness that goes to it because anything wrong with the wiring open short anything like this is going to cause the same problems as a back crankshaft position sensor and you can also test it with the meter if you wanted to the basics of what's going on with it is that when the key's in the on position you're going to get power on one wire and it could vary again depending on the year and the engine type but you should get like 5 volts 9 volts or 12 volts on one of these wires which will be power going to it when the key's in the opposition. one wire will be ground and one wire is a signal wire going back to the onboard computer that sends a 5 volt pulse every time there's a piece of metal directly in front of the sensor. And so you can't check it and be sure that you're getting power. Be sure that the ground is good. Check that for continuity. And you could also check the signal wire for continuity if you wanted to. There's some good videos on that if you want to get more into the wiring. And also keep in mind that this whole circuit is on a fuse. So if you're not getting no power to the crankshaft position sensor, then very likely there's a blown fuse. And it's usually inside the engine compartment. While it could be up and underneath the dash sometimes, it's usually inside the engine compartment. There's a fuse box and you want to check for a blown fuse if you're not getting no power to that harness. So if you check all that, you check the, the wiring looks good, there's no blown fuses or anything like that, then very likely it's just going to be time to replace the crankshaft position sensor. And this could vary on difficulty level depending on where they're placed and where they're located. Sometimes they're easy to get to since they'll be directly up on underneath the car and they'll just have like a cover over it and they'll just have like a 10 millimeter bolt and a wiring harness and you just pop it out and pop in the new one. But sometimes they can be located in, in hard to reach spots and they can be kind of difficult to get to. Again, it's just going to vary on the Nissan year and engine type. And sometimes it'll be located up on the top of the transmissions you have to reach around and almost work on the blind to get to it and then on other ones you have to remove the passenger side front tire and to get to it and it's located up on the side of the engine so again it's just going to vary on where it's located on how difficult it is to replace but the sensor itself is fairly easy to replace since it's just going to have a 10 millimeter bolt and this wiring harness and you just pop the old one out and the new one in and you'd be finished. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Nissan with the P0335 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.